I wish I would have gotten that on video. <laughs> Can you repeat that last line? And do you, do you create more blood when you stitch people? We were talking about this in the car. No. No. Oh, okay. No, I, no we save people their blood by stitching them. Oh, Lordy. Okay. I still feel that. Okay, I'm sure you don't feel it very much, though, right? Mm, no, not very, 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 very small amount. Okay, good. That's what it's going to be the whole way through, and I got about three more times like that, and you'll be dead. Okay. Not, not rocket science here. Can I ask a question? Sure. What you know when when I come in and I and I wouldn't have been able to stop the bleeding and it's still bleeding uh -huh. profusely. How do you stop the bleeding so you can stitch it? Well, I'm sure your buddy here who's had military experience knows <laughs> all about that. I told him. I was like, he saved my life. That's not is. I mean, basically, I don't I want mean, him to save my life. You have to compress the area, which yeah. is exactly what stitching does. Stitching closes the area so that there's pressure on the blood vessels and they can't emit their mm -hmm. contents very easily. Oh. But if you if you um you just start stitching it with it gushing out then. Yeah, then you, the person who's stitching gets a little bit bloody and the bleeding stops. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Well that's easy enough then. I thought there was some kind you know, I know sometimes they use like a uh it's like a super glue you put in the wounds. Uh-huh. I yes, I know it's a sterile super glue. Yeah. You usually don't want to do anything too big like that. Well, they do it at hospitals. I've had them use it before. Yeah, no, we yeah. do do it, but it's usually on smaller lacerations and usually yeah. an area where there isn't that kind of skin tension. There's a lot of skin tension in the hands. We use super glue on arms and, you know. Just super glue those arms back on. <laughs> <laughs> Just a flash wound. <laughs> well, this is just a small little... Or what do you it's call it? It's a pretty laceration? good flap laceration. It's a pretty good flap laceration. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a pretty good one. Okay. Couple it was worth you can fly. Yeah. <laughs> it was worth the trip in the town for this, though. Yes. Oh. And where was the where was the accident? Uh, timber. Cochran Pond, up in Timber. Ten and miles. He's still in our hunting spot now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ten miles in the woods past. Timber. Do you know where Timber is? I actually don't. Okay, so you know when you go out Highway 6 and you pass uh, uh, North Plains? You know, yeah, you, right. I, I do know where North Plains is. You go past North Plains and you come to a, uh, there's a, the last gas station you come to on Highway 6. It's a little shell station on your left hand side. You go about five miles down the road from there and you turn Right, yeah, and that it doesn't seem like you timber. have to go very far to get to hunting. Oh, grounds. it's pretty far out there. I mean, we it, relatively no, like we're not, relatively no. It's yeah. not a five-hour trip, but it's in the middle of the Tillamook State Forest, though. It's back in there. A lot of driving on gravel roads and a lot of hiking. Right. Luckily, this happened right next to the cars. That wasn't in the in the woods. Like some water, we open it. That would have been bad. And how far do you have to go to get a kind of free and clear, um... Like a shot to, on one? You know, able to, you know, able to uh, kill a, either a deer or a, a doe or a... Like how close do you have to be or how far you out You said there's town? a place where you can go where you, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter whether the, the oh. gender of the animal, you can just no, have one deer. Where's the, that? That's so every year they put out, they put out, um the different regions, like what right. you can hunt there oh, and when. I see. So they count the deer mm -hmm. and they see how bad things exactly. are. Exactly, yeah. Boy, they need to do something in Southern Oregon. Everybody is hitting a deer who goes down Southern Oregon. Every, I mean, it's ridiculous. Yeah. And in Corvallis, they've That's taken cool. over the neighborhoods. They, they yeah. go into the neighborhoods. That's why it's one deer in uh, Willamette. Okay, you're done. That was it. Sorry. You're done. That was it. I promise. That one hurt. That was it. That was it was right on the very edge of the wound and hadn't gotten as numb as everything else, and it's done. I tried to not move. You should pour some ink in there. It'd be like a free tattoo. <laughs> so how many stitches is that, dog? Well, technically, it's one stitch because oh, well. it's... Uh, <laughs> you lose. But... <laughs> How many knots? It's it's five bites. Oh, okay. Ooh, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. It's five bites. There you go. 
Yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a, the kind of person that puts any more stitches than you need. I mean, it'd be basically enough for the skin to heal and for the um, blood bleeding to stop. It's like fishing trying. We had fishing wire out there. Is it monofilament? Or is it made out of something else? It's monofilament, yeah. Okay. It's just your plain. Fishing line. That's what it is. It's fishing line. Yeah. Is that what you wanted to do? What's that? Did you want to just use, did you, you want to sew it no. up? No. <laughs> I, I don't think I could have taken that. No. No, you, 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 you would have been bad. bad.